ghost in Gilboa? Nope, that's just a rare fog bow that formed this morning. So this morning, Ashley Trapser sent me in this really, really cool picture of a fog bow as she was out and about in rural Putnam County. So if you look right here and see that arc, it's not very very vibrant and said it's a white color because this process is different than how traditional rainbows form. So fog has water droplets that are immensely to more smaller than rainbow droplets and therefore instead of passing through the water droplets it just gets bounced back and thus we don't see those individual colors. So phenomenal picture Ashley. Thank you so much for sending that picture in. We're not talking about rainbows right now. We have plenty of clear skies right now. Sunny skies as well. Temperature 76 and in Lima, 77 in Paulding, 77 degrees in Salina. Now we're going to go back into the tropics because we definitely had a concerning trend over the past 24 hours in the Gulf of Mexico. So we now have Tropical Storm Milton that's just in the far western part of the Gulf of Mexico, 40 mile per hour tropical storm. This is going to be an odd one and here's why. Instead of tracking to the northwest, it's going to move due east and because of that, it's going to have ample time to strengthen over the Gulf. So Monday morning an 80 mile power category one hurricane and unfortunately it does look like Florida once again will be in the crosshairs of another hurricane, possibly major hurricane landfall Wednesday afternoon. If the forecast holds, maybe a major hurricane making landfall near Tampa, and then eventually it'll cross Florida and then emerge back to the Southwest Atlantic. So quite a bit to watch once again in the tropics. So we'll keep you updated as time goes on. But back to Ohio we go. We're gonna have cool weather or really milder weather tonight with a lot of clear skies, but that cold front will be on the way for tomorrow. Tomorrow, it's not going to generate any rain locally here. It's going to swing on through, and any showers or storms will likely be located well to our east across eastern Ohio. And then as we go into Monday morning, we're going to have generally clear skies. But we're going to be watching a risk for wildfires and field fires tomorrow. Everyone is under an elevated risk for fires for Sunday. Main concern will be from noon to 8 p.m. And here is why. We're going to have a rapid decrease in relative humidities by the afternoon hours, possibly as low as 15 percent combined with wind gusts of up to 30 35 miles per hour so just be careful if you're going out and about make sure you don't do any open burning and remember that open burning is banned in ohio for the month of october during daytime hours and we're not going to be talking about much rainfall this week as high pressure continues control across west central ohio so forecast for tonight 61 degrees very mild mostly clear and breezy going into sunday elevated fire risk high temperatures around 82 in lima a warmer southeast, a little bit cooler northwest where that cold front will pass through earlier. Looking at the rest of the seven day, a very monotonous forecast with a lot of sunny skies. We are going to be cooler Monday through Thursday, a little bit warmer by next weekend, but overall not much rain and dry weather. Casey.